Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Right now we're playing Stranded Deep and we're gonna take a look at the crafting system and how it works. This guide will consist of three episodes. By the end of these episodes you'll be able to construct and survive completely within the world. Please note that all guides are connected, that if you end up skipping one of the guides you might not know what's going on in the next one and how I was able to construct this shack or many different things within these guides. So please check them out and I'm sure that you're gonna have a lot more fun within this game once you know what goes on. When you pop up in a game you'll most likely spawn near an island or it could be on a boat but in general vicinity of an island. One of the most important keys that you should know about in this game is the F key. Holding the F key will allow to see you, what kind of status you are. First of all, this would show your time. A single left click would show your health, your life, and your hydration status within this world. Also, as you take damage, this, the arm animations change, so you will see what kind of damage you received or how damaged you are. By clicking tab, you are able to pull up the inventory. You start always with a lighter, a knife, and a bottle of water. Whoops, sorry about that. You could keep drinking the bottle of water until it empties up. With a knife, of course, you could hunt crustaceans, such as these crabs on the shore, and cook them. Or just you could eat them raw, not recommended. And you could use this knife for crafting and cutting things down. If you of course cut the plants, you will get potatoes. If you right click and hold on an item, you will be able to drag the item for as long as you need to. Uh, the crafting in this game is not like crafting in other games in a sense of there is no crafting window. What you need to find is this yucca plants and well cut them down. Also please note that your equipment has durability within this game. So if you get too excited and stab everything in sight you might end up breaking a knife and might need to craft a new one. Once you cut this up. You can now loot these ropes and head back to where you were piling your stuff. As you could see the crafting in other games you would have a crafting window, you know, open it up, put stuff in there or, you know, hold it in your inventory, do something with it. In this game, you would put the items on the floor. Even if it's in your inventory, you would click Q to drop the item on the floor and then put and drag them within the vicinity of each other. When the items are within the vicinity of each, other, of each other and they actually craft something, this little square icon appears in the middle. Once you left click, you will see a menu appear. It will tell you what you can craft. In this case, I can craft a crude X. Then you would click to craft, and voila, you have created a crude X. When you pick it up and you click it, you have now equipped the crude X. By dragging five sticks into a single area next to each other by holding the right click button again, as you could see here, and just putting them on top of each other, you will get this menu. Again, Left clicking and slightly dragging to the left will pull up the menu. Now you would need to create a campfire if you to survive. And here you go, you have created a campfire. Now like in most games, it now will ask you where do you want to place the campfire. My personal suggestion, find where there's a lot, bunch of crabs on the shore and just place it nearby so you could easily harvest them. In my case, it seems like this is, would be the best spot. I got some crustaceans right over there. Now you place down the campfire. The next stage, well, 
would be to start a campfire. You pull out your lighter and left click on the campfire and voila. Now here comes the interesting part. The cooking in this game is unlike other co games that you've most likely played. So, let's start with something that's more available than potatoes, crabs. So, first of all, you kill a single crab and then you drag him back to your campfire. Now, you pick up the crab and you drop him, well, on the campfire. Then you right click on the crab and you kind of try to position him on the campfire itself and you hear that roasting sound that means the ca the crab or whatever you have there is cooking come on buddy stay up on the this is, becomes a little bit complicated because it doesn't seem like you can cook more than one thing at a time ah yeah this is or you could just hold them over the fire if you really want i just prefer to leave the crabs there we go, finally. And after a short while, the crab or whatever you're cooking will turn into cooked crab or cooked potato and so on. It takes approximately a minute to cook uh, a crab from at least what I've noticed on fire. And once the crab is cooked, it would no longer be able to be cooked on file, just basically fall off to the side and it will say cooked crab on it. After the crab is cooked, you will actually hear a dinging sound. And once you mouse over the crab, as you could see, it now says cooked crab. Now again, let's check our watch. As you could see, I lost two strands of, well, hunger. You go inventory into your inventory, equip your crab, and now click left click. And now you have ate your crab. Now we will check our watch again. And as you could see, I have only gained one strip of hunger. By killing and eating a raw crab, It could also obtain, give me, give it to me plus one health of uh, uh, hunger. I mean, but sometimes because these crabs aren't cooked, it could backfire on you. And as you could see, I gained one and I instantly lost one because the crab well wasn't cooked and wasn't fresh. Thank you all for tuning in to my first episode of my three episode series guide on Stranded Deep. Uh, the next episode will include tools, uh, building, harvesting and so on. I will continue the guides all the way till the last guide which will involve building and constructing full shacks and so on. Thank you all for tuning in and please continue watching to the next guide that is available right now.